Rescue Algarve where we'll be spending the next two weeks looking after rescued dogs and cats. Five days a week we will be looking after these dogs, walking them, cleaning their kennels, <laughs> walking them, cleaning their kennels, washing their bowls, washing their blankets, um, playing with them, socialising them, getting them ready to be adopted and it's just an amazing place. Uh, there's over 100 dogs here, I believe, at the moment. Lots of cats as well. 20 cats, cats. as well. Um, and a lot of these animals have got here through kind of sad conditions, uh, sad situations, I guess. Um, but we're going to show you around and show you some of the dogs that are up for adoption and also what daily life here is like. Sir Richardson of Animal Rescue at Algarve. We started about four years ago. Why did I start this and why have I become so involved? I've been an animal lover and supporter all, all my life. I was successful in business in England and supported financially a number of causes, but more animal than anything else. Came to Portugal 25 years ago. Like most expats, I had a complete misunderstanding of animal welfare in Portugal and it was only when I adopted a dog and looked at uh, shelters. Very quickly became aware that almost all shelters in Portugal are overcrowded, underfunded and understaffed. That's largely the reason I decided to uh, create a shelter and hopefully set standards that I thought would be a role model for government, local council and other shelters. We're currently in the kennel with two dogs that got brought here just a few days ago from the street and uh, there's a boy and a girl and I've basically been spending a little bit of time with them both over the past couple of days. When I first met these two, they were like cowering in the corner, like shoved up as close to the corner as they possibly could to get away from me, which made me so sad because obviously I would never do anything to hurt them, but they were just so scared. And now they'll let me stroke them, they'll let me give them treats. They're still like wary and nervous, but we're definitely making progress, which is really rewarding. It's really nice. So something we have to do here as volunteers is we are given socialising dogs, so dogs who have maybe gone through situations and maybe struggle with people to try and help them become more social so that they can be adopted, essentially. And this dog is Sane. Sane is my new socialising dog and absolutely adorable, but very shy at first. Yeah. Hello. So Sunny was rescued from a street and um, she was being fed by builders before being here. She's just very, very shy with new people. Very friendly, but just quite scared. Let's not stroke you. Is that okay? She's actually like being really trustworthy, she's been giving me kisses. Very, very cute. Hey. Hey. We've made some progress, we've created a fantastic shelter, but sadly there's no regulation in Portugal, 
So it's got a long way to go. We've established protocols in our own area of Lule with 14 schools. We were very surprised at the response, the enthusiasm. Uh, we have reg regular visits, we do lectures at schools. Uh, the pupils do have a good attitude and equally the teachers. Our problem is, in terms of change, is the older generation and their generational problems, dogs on chains, etc. And general government, they're under pressure all the time from schools, hospitals, and animal welfare comes a very big last on anyone's list. So today we've come to a shopping mall in the Algarve um, with a group of dogs and it's to raise awareness about the presence of ARA in the area so that people know that this exists and they can come and see the dogs and maybe donate and or volunteer and we're basically just going to sit here all day and cuddle the puppies and invite people to come and speak to us. After about a week of getting to know Isolde, as you've already met, Chloe's like absolute favourite and to be honest my favourite as well, she's adorable. She's really warm to us, she gets so excited every time she sees us. We're now taking her on a walk into Lula. <laughs> So Isolde's day out is going very well. She is being so, so good. Everyone thinks she's super cute, as expected. She, she seems very relaxed, which is nice. She always uses her paws to like grab her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. rewarding like how like trustworthy she is of us now because when we first met her she was so so scared and she trusts people now and she's so good on the lead and she's had such a nice day today in Lule and I just think that the change like the transformation between now and when we first met her is like crazy she's like a different dog and it's really nice it's like Really heartwarming, isn't it? Yeah, it's heartwarming. <laughs> He's so sweet. Hi, oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <so> <laughs> We've now 
now finished our time at Animal Rescue Algarve and we've arrived in Lagos, which by the way is very nice, very vegan friendly too. But we just wanted to say that we had such an incredible time there. Um, if you're thinking of volunteering somewhere with animals, that would be a great place to start. But also we wanted to reinforce the fact that it is so expensive every month for them to run that place. It's nearly 40,000 euros a month for them to keep that place running. So if you can donate, please, please do, because honestly, it's so important that they can afford to look after those dogs and cats and, and bunnies and all the animals every month. So we've put a link down below for you to um, donate and help in any way that you can. We also just wanted to reinforce the message of adopt, don't shop. Now more than ever we've realised how important that message is. Um, we may or may not be thinking about adopting a dog from there ourselves, which is super unexpected. We are very shocked that our... Everyone else expected We are very shocked at ourselves, but because we thought we'd be able to go there and just volunteer and then leave, but our hearts are uh, definitely with one of the dogs there. So we'll keep you updated on that journey if we do adopt. But yeah, honestly, like the breeding industry, the pet industry in general isn't particularly nice. In fact, that's a polite way of putting it. And there are so many dogs that need help and need rescuing. And um, you know, if you do have room in your heart and your home for a, a little furry friend, then definitely consider adopting. And thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed seeing all the cute animals and please check that link out down below and go and help out um, Animal Rescue Archive.